Hello again, my friends. Welcome back to another First Impressions playthrough. Today we're checking out Hotel R and R. Today it has fully released from early access, and it looks like a lot of fun, light-hearted destruction. Let's check it out. Harsh. Throw something. Objects highlighted can be grabbed and let go. All right, revenge. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What the hell are you doing? Oh, it bursted on when I grabbed it. I got a guitar. Oh yeah, throw that. Oi! Uh, oh, throw this. Alright. Well, my performance didn't go so well. Walk into the light. Get moving. Hold the bottom touchpad and swing your arms to move. Push left... Excuse me. Push the left... Thumbstick, left Come to right to turn. forward, my child. All right, arm swinging. Here we go. No. Nope. <laughs> I had you there, didn't I? It's just a pretty sweet echo effect on my voice. Now, get into the elevator. I have something better for you. Well, it's like I've told you already. You can't go waving that thing around. We've all heard the gossip. Look, Donnie, just stick to the script Hell. and leave the liberal <laughs> halfwits to me. Listen, you waste of a bloody toupee. Just stay your social media. Okay? Ah, yes, hello. Pleased to meet you. If you didn't guess, I'm the devil. Right, so you're here because you want fame and fortune, but your music sucks. Yeah, that's too bad. Well, you have come to the right place, my friend. I've helped the best of them. From Panini to Page, I just love to make a deal with a musician. You're all so debauched. <laughs> it just so happens, I've fallen out with a certain hotelier. So I think that you could help me. So, here's the deal. I'll give you what you want. Minus admin fees, of course. And all you need to do for me is become infamous for smashing up hotel rooms. The more infamy you gain, the bigger the hotels and more cash you can make. All I need from you is a digital signature on here and you'll be taken backstage to start your career. Simple, please. Sign here. Captcha, I'm not a robot. <laughs> Even if we have a uh, deal. Love it. Now, just looking over the fine print, as stated in Clause 221B, I take your soul. Deal with the devil. Become infamous. World tour. Use the TV and navigate to the first hotel to start earning cash and infamy. Need a quick fix? Party mode. Get a peek at late game weapons and hotels in this round based challenge mode. Okay, cool. Yeah, party mode's nice for playing with others, but let's try and become infamous. World tour. Go. Bat Country, New Mexico, USA. Crossroad Hotel. There's nothing more punk rock than a budget hotel in the middle of the desert. Oh, I'm sorry, motel. But that says hotel. Whatever. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, this is your writer. It's empty except for a foam finger. You need to make some cash by smashing up the hotel and head down to the pawn shop to load it out. Okay, writer select. Foam finger. 
Nothing tells your favorite overpaid team that you believe in them more than a big foam finger. Go green team. Who? I don't know. How dare you question the devil? <laughs> Confirm. All right. So I guess we just get smashing. Oh, hey. Just get to it, huh? Welcome to Crossroad Hotel. Trying to fling this if I can. Grab a chair. Chair would be a useful tool, right? Holy Bible. What's the devil think of that? Oh, housekeeping. Come and get your fresh toilet roll. Listen up. This is useful onboarding stuff. To get you on board, I guess. A member of the staff is on their way to your room. You do not want them to fully open the door or that is game over. Yeah, I want to keep him out. <laughs> oh, and just a heads up. You can leave any time when the hotel staff aren't around. Oh, the desk? Nice. Okay. You can smash desks, too. Not that, though. <laughs> Sir or madam, oh. I must warn you, hotel property is not yours to break. Okay? <laughs> Whatever you're hiding in there, security will ferret it out. That door locking thing is funny. What else can we break? Okay. This thing is a weapon. Kind of. That's everything, right? <laughs> okay, what happened? You died. Oh, interesting. To gain infamy, you must exit via the door to make a clean getaway. You do not receive infamy if you die or get caught. Ah, oh, I see. Okay. I thought the countdown I was hearing was just a countdown until I'm done earning a score. Listen to the countdown because you're going to get caught. Uh, our hotel guard's supposed to be armed. Okay, I earned zero infamy. And it seems that the foam finger is a weapon. That's why you choose your loadout before... Uh, your mission, and so the foam finger could be useful with breaking things, I suppose. You earn more cash by causing more damage. Costs are taken for lawyers' fees and alike. If you want to reduce these, do not hurt hotel staff, get caught, or die. Okay, restart. My foam finger? <laughs> Confirm. That door locking puzzle challenge is really creative and fun. I'm trying to keep them from getting in. Let's get to it. We need to in 27. Guests have reported a bit of a hubbub. 
bit of a hubbub. I missed. Finger power. Foam finger isn't the most effective tool. Perhaps this would be better. Hey, coming in. You better be dressed. <laughs> you better be dressed. I didn't want to come in anyway. Yeah, that metal rod is much better than the finger. So I thought. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Oh. We have received a number of complaints, and I must insist that I check the room. Whoa, whoa, no, no, no! <laughs> I entered a crouch mode, I don't know how. I entered crouch mode, I don't know how to undo that. Resume. There we go. Oh, push. Oh, I can break more stuff in here. Okay. <laughs> okay, so now I need to make my clean getaway. Okay, cool. Unfortunately, I had to hurt the guys. That probably added a lawyer fee. Yeah, but we didn't get caught, so. Money for nothing. Bank 290 and check out. Exit the hotel via door. Oh, and here's more challenges. Like the toughest one. Ghost costs $300 of subtotal damages and escape before the maid tries to get in. But all these are more uh, challenges you can do. Cool. Pawn to die. New area? Get yourself down to hell's very own pawn and gun shop via the elevator. The purgatory, waiting room for all lost souls, and the place to play mini games. <laughs> cool. Yeah, you definitely gotta watch your chaperone bounce here. You don't wanna accidentally punch a wall or something. You could easily lose control. It's games like these that make me want a huge play space, because if you could just like walk the entire hotel room, if you had a massive room scale, that'd be so cool. But sadly, not today. Okay. So Purgatory is mini games, Pawn to Die, Gun Shop. I have a thousand bucks. Going down. Uh, do, 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 do. How do I continue the campaign? Settings can be changed at any time. Okay, we're back to world tour. I wonder the movement mode. I wonder if I could just use the joystick. pad let's try that crouch off okay yeah let's turn off the floor interface because I'll just keep my eyes peeled for my bounds hard bounds does that mean hmm. not sure what hard not sure what hard bounds is because my bounds aren't showing up but let's try that Cool, so you get a gun. <laughs> yeah, joystick. That way I'm less likely to move while I'm smashing things. There were some times where I was trying to smash and I was accidentally moving.
<laughs> cool. Let's cause some more mayhem. Um, okay, I haven't unlocked the next area yet. I need three times more infamy. So... Okay, we need to earn more infamy. Let's go. Confirm. And bathroom. Almost at twenty seven now. And can I leave? No, too late. She's here. Ooh, I hurt myself. Good. Wow. I hear you in there stealing robes. I'll just let myself in. Oh, if you injure your hand, you can't use it. Oh, okay. So you can't injure yourself. So you don't want to just break glass with your hand, because you'll lose your ability. Okay. Made a, some more cash. Yeah, I was hoping to... um. I was hoping to do the, right, $300 before the maid tries to get in. Let's retry. Don't want to break your hand and trying to do enough before she, so she shows up. There we go. I'm just down the corridor from <laughs> Darn it, she's here. She's fast. She is so fast. Wow. Knock knock. Look over an exotic dancer. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, boss! Get your ass down to 27! Um, okay. I won't be long. <laughs> Hope everything is. Oh, I hurt myself. All for the devil. Oh, he's here. Dang. I have good reason to believe you're damaging hotel property and um, Ooh, he's good. that is a crime. No, no, no. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> oh, you uh. <laughs> What else can we do? Let's get out of here. Wow, that hotel manager, he's he's really good. <laughs> he's really good. Really fast. Okay, 1700. I doubt I have enough. Uh... No, nope. Three times infamy required to unlock. Okay, what's the other areas like? Oh, no, that's not it. Back. Yeah, there we go. All right, that's the settings. Okay, this is going back to the tutorial, restarting... Purgatory. I have to use the elevator to go to purgatory. 
Okay, okay, I, this lists all the challenges. Okay, let's skip Purgatory for now. Let's try these challenges. Rack up $150 without a trip to the hospital. So let's be more careful. There's the elevator. Wait, elevator this way? That way, okay. Okay, this is another play mode. No reward. It's a sandbox mode. Okay, but I want to unlock. All right, party mode. Right, right, right. Okay, world tour. All right, $150, not hurt ourselves. Let's go. We're going to use props only. There we go. Some douchebag is smashing up 27. I, I find that word a wee bit offensive, June. Um, okay. Um, okay. I'm not from 27. She's here. Okay, I got some scrapes, but I don't think we're in hospital territory yet. Oh, how do I? I'm walking over now to speak to our guest. We'll work this out. This is the manager. I'm gonna come in. And I'm gonna inspect the room right now. <laughs> the door, huh? <laughs> I'm gonna call on the guard. Estimated time of arrival. 60 seconds. Alright, this has gotta be $150. Gotta be. Oh, I still... Hmm. I'm still getting hospital fees. I did end up more with, uh, with more cash, though. Huh. Yeah, I'm still getting a hospital bill, so I need to not use my hands at all to smash. I have to use props only. We have a disturbance at 27. Please see if they need assistance. Still get it. I still got a scrape though, huh? Wanted to try and beat housekeeping there. Yeah, hospital fee 228. Interesting. So, even if I need a band aid, I go to the hospital, <laughs> it seems. And I didn't rack up enough to get the um, $300 before the maid gets in. That's really challenging. And I've earned infamy 1 out of 30. Okay, well, every time that we restart, we keep earning more cash, so let's just keep going for it. I really want to try and beat the maid, you know? This is the maid on duty. I think I hear some dark breaking sick. <laughs> could, you, could you take a look, please? Oh, come on now. Making my way to room 26. Hospital fee, $4. Ooh, I earned a lot there. Yeah, I did it. All right, cool. I was able to beat the maid. Infamy, 2 out of 30. Now I get it. All of these challenges are actually your infamy points. I have two of them, 2 out of 30. I'm learning. Okay. So I need one more infamy point before unlocking the next hotel. 150 bucks subtotal without a trip to the hospital. I feel like that's doable. I just gotta be really, really super careful. Like, will the foam finger? Oh, I, I should have read that closer. Will the foam finger prevent injury? Is that the deal? Is it? It also won't cause any damage. 
<laughs> it doesn't do anything. But I'm safe. Oh. Give it back, please. Give it back. Come on, come on, give me my finger. Give me my finger back. <laughs> My hand doesn't look too injured. Anyone in? I'm here to go through your stuff. <laughs> so, who just did the manager? That's why I'm walking over there now. <laughs> huh, I still got a hospital fee of a dollar oh five. Hmm. Hint. Safe codes oh. <laughs> okay, we got some hints here on the bottom. Let's see. Large items such as TVs can be scooped up with your fists. Okay. Give me another hint. Want to try out your weapons? Head down to the range and pawn to die. You know what? That would save me a lot of injury. If I go to the pawn shop and say buy a gun, I won't injure myself as much, right? Hospitals are cheaper than resurrections. <laughs> Fair enough. Get out of the hotel if you start dying. Wow. And here I'm just trying to avoid scrapes on my finger to get the point. Okay, let's go to the pawn shop. Maybe I need better props. To the elevator. Cause I got some spending cash now. Pawn. There. <laughs> Where's the door? There. <laughs> Spin around. Ooh! Fancy little shop here. Okay. Three grand for a tomahawk. That might be just what I need. The gun's gonna be expensive, I know it is. Yeah. 1,200, 2,200, 45,000. Man, if you. <laughs> Purchasing an Uzi to trash a hotel room? A sword? T-shirt cannon? Okay, yeah, I think I need something just really simple but effective, like a tomahawk. That way I won't injure my hand, right? Fish. I can upgrade the foam finger. Punching gloves. What else have they got here? Bowling ball. A bowling ball would be very destructive. Teeth to loan. Pick up hand scanner to begin. Scan item to add to the basket. Okay. Cool. Use the scanner to buy things. Fireworks. C4. <laughs> Fun props, man. Some merch. Yo. All right, yeah, let's, um, I think Tomahawk's the way to go. I think I have enough. Okay. All right, thank you for your purchase. I don't think I need a weapon testing range. I'm ready to use it. Let's go. Yeah, I think the tomahawk's gonna make all the difference in the world. World tour. Go. Face forward. 
Yes, Tomahawk. And there's two of them? Let's go. I'm ready. Yes. Yes. This is what I need. Yeah. Yes. Oh, man. Oh, the tomahawk broke. That's interesting. Come on, TV. <laughs> Change your dirty sheets. Come on. It's okay, this just requires a little thing I call hotel management expertise. Oh, I'm on my way to 27 now. Cool. You know, I still got a hospital fee. Wow. Hmm. Well, $150 isn't that much, so... I don't need to break very much for the hospital point. So let's just be real gingerly with everything. Very delicate nature. Like, is that 150 bucks right there? Oh, okay, we're on the right track. Zero hospital fee. We did it. Cool, three infamy, rad. All right, continue. Hotel unlocked? You're more infamous, which means that the value of items has multiplied by two times. So a beer that was $3 is now 6 This is going to beg you some more cash in hotels and minigames, but some infamy challenges have scaled up to match. Cool. I gotta say, so far, um, I like how they've added variety and challenges to the destruction, like keeping the door locked, all these uh, particular infamy, infamy challenges. Um... It's not just breaking stuff, like the rules and mechanics are pretty cool. Oh wow, this place is huge. Nice. All right. The Loco Lounge Hotel. This place is huge, nice. It's a very nice hotel. Chop up the bed. Hey, uh, this is manager. There are reports of a disturbance in room 27. Oh, the shoving. Here she comes. Ooh, big score. Flamingo. <laughs> Oh, wrong button. I didn't mean to... There we go. Okay. Oh, front door. Crap. Knock, knock. You call for an exotic dancer. <laughs> so... What else can we break? Yeah. Can't break that glass, I'm trying. <laughs> Here comes the manager. 
too late. Okay. <laughs> uh, excuse me, sir or madam. I intend to enter the room now. <laughs> No, no, no. Oh, that was close. You are a degenerate brute. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, security well, well, thank you. Jack Daniels. I'm tired of being wholesome. I'm a degenerate brute. <laughs> right, let's get out of here. Cool. Not bad, not bad. Cool. Let's see what the mini games and party mode are like. The campaign's fun. I'm digging it. This is really fun. Okay, mini games. Party mode. Right. I thought party mode and mini games were two different things. That that's the sandbox mode. Nice. Party mode, you can choose solo or pass and play, which is perfect for playing with others. People take turns. Let's try party mode solo. Choose a band member. Oh, you get to choose your band member. And then... Make a fist, max damage, no weapons. Max damage, limited weapons. Dance minigame. Max damage, anything goes. Look at all these mini games. Oh, there's a lot here. Gardening? <laughs> there's a lot of mini games. This could be an exceptional party game. Look at all these. Have we even looped to the beginning yet? Yeah, now we've looped to the beginning. That's a lot of modes. I'm gonna try max damage, anything goes. Oh, okay, I see. I can't just pick that one, I pick this family. So I pick that, okay, I see. Scoreboard, you! Yep, just me. Just me today. Look at that. What? Firecrackers? Oh, we're in an office building? Wow. Um, I need fire. <laughs> do I need fire to light these? How do I... It's, uh... Hmm. Yeah, I need to find fire to do that. Anywho. Think positive! <laughs> okay. So, apparently, that's timed. $69. Okay, there's a time limit, of course. If it's a party mode, there's a time limit. <laughs> I wonder if there's a way to activate these... Like the firecracker in this. I'm hold There. Okay, now it's not... Why am I not getting this to work? Huh. Not sure what I'm doing wrong with those. Oh, the Pope Mobile! <laughs> it's the Pope Mobile. Man, oh man. Yeah, I think I'm doing some of those items wrong, like um, the firecrackers, I couldn't figure out how they would go off. Maybe I just had to throw them. And the uh, spray paint, I was able to get that to go for a little bit, but I guess it ran out. 
Haven't quite figured out the secondary activating of items for some reason. What is this? Do we jump? What is this? Hmm. We, I don't understand what's happening here. We have fish at the hotel. Are we just... <laughs> what is happening here? <laughs> what are we... Huh. It's like shuffleboard, I guess? I have no idea. Okay, so let's quit the party mode. I think it's obvious there's a lot going on in there. Like certain mini games have certain rules and goals. Like that fish slider, I'm assuming is a shuffleboard thing. But that's cool. I mean, for a party game, for that sandbox party mode. No, I'm sorry. That's sandbox. That's party mode. Pass and play. This could be a really exceptional party game with other folks. You just want to blanket, um, tape blankets to your wall so nobody punches anything. Cool. That's great. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it there for today. This has been a pleasant surprise, I gotta say. I honestly wasn't expecting much walking into it because it's a destruction game and I feel like we've seen lots of destruction games in VR, but they did this really well. There's all kinds of interesting challenges and weapons, unlockables, purchases. The party mode is great. I gotta say, I'm pleasantly surprised. Oh, okay. Take a selfie. Yeah, see, their trigger worked, but with the spray paint, it flies. <laughs> but with the spray paint and the firecracker, his trigger didn't work. Oh, well, whatever. This is, uh, yeah, this has been a pleasant surprise. The price is 20 bucks, and um, I say for a destruction game, they did this right. This is cool. I'm enjoying this. Thank you so much for joining me, and we'll catch you later. All right? See ya. Bye. Well, that's it for now. Thanks so much for watching. If you like what you see, please subscribe. See ya.